There's a big game tonight on Tobacco Road, and the matchup may surprise you. Yes, North Carolina's on the marquee, but the opponent generating the excitement is NC State. Welcome to the Infinity College Basketball Tip-Off. We're at the Dean Smith Center in Chapel Hill, North Carolina for North Carolina State and the 8th ranked Tar Heels. In the preseason, life in the ACC was supposed to be fairly simple. North Carolina and Duke at the top. Since then, we've moved into the month of February. Four teams have come to the forefront. It's now Duke, Florida State, NC State, and North Carolina. Which one will prevail? We will find out in the next six weeks. Mike Patrick, Dick Vitale, great to have you with us. My question to you, does North Carolina have what it takes to be the dominant team in this league, the dominant team most people thought they would be? You know, Mike, they got a front court that's NBA front court. When you talk about Boren, Seller, and you certainly talk about Henson, the big question now is how do re they replace Dexter Strickland? You look at a guy that was a defensive stopper, and that's their one area of concern defensively. Offensively, they'll get points out of that position from Bullock and certainly from Hairston, but they got to do a better job defensively if they want to stand tall and put a banner here that says national champs and remember that is their goal they don't play for the right to go to the NCAA tournament their goal is to win the whole baby thanks for watching the infinity college basketball tip-off live from Chapel Hill let's see how our coaches are inspired comes from the fans. The Wolfpack fans inspire our players in so many ways. They're loud, they're energetic, they drive you to be the best you can be. The home court advantage is a tremendous factor. You want to protect your home turf. Inspiration is contagious. Our players inspire me every day. You want each individual guy to get better. You want them to play their hearts out, to give everything they have. If you're involved in a great rivalry, you should enjoy each one of those moments of that game. To become a good basketball team, it takes a lot of hard work takes sacrifice, takes dedication. That's what inspires me every day. We're all passionate about what we do. I want our players and our fans to invest in the game. I want you to stand up and cheer. Spread some inspiration of your own. Visit ESPN.com slash infinity and help your coach win for his favorite charity. Welcome to the ACC on ESPN. It's the Thursday Night Showcase, presented by T. Rowe Price. From the Dean Smith Center in Chapel Hill, North Carolina State, against the Heels, number eight, North Carolina. And it is crowded at the top of the ACC. Four teams tied for first place with only one loss, including the two that are playing tonight, and Virginia lurking close behind with only two losses. Good evening, everybody. Mike Patrick, Dick Vitale. Great to have you with us. This should be a very entertaining game because both teams want to run. NC State is 4-1, and one, tied for first place, but Dick, they haven't beaten any of the big guys yet. Well, you made a great point about wanting to run. Spoke to Mark Godfrey before the game. He said, number one concern, we must play great team defense in transition. We must neutralize their running game. On the other side, they're going to need a big game from Les to offset that great front court of North Carolina. What about your one-on-one -on -one tonight? Well, we talk about a one-on-one. -on -one. I think the scenario gets down to one word. It's called depth. Both clubs questionable. North Carolina State plays seven people. They have five scoring in double figures. Can they get by with only seven here tonight against this kind of basketball team that likes to go up and down? On the other side, no Strickland. That means Bullock and Hairston have to really do a job at that position. Take a look at the starting lineup first for North Carolina State. All five players in double figures led by Scott Wood at 13-3. He's also the best three-point shooter in the ACC for North Carolina. Keep an eye on Kendall Marshall. He's probably going to have to play more minutes at the point. Will he be able to do it and be just as effective? 
Janine Edwards will be working the sidelines for us tonight. This used to be one of the great rivalries in all of college basketball, but Janine, North Carolina's won 16 of the last 17, sort of takes the edge off. Exactly, Mike. In fact, in recent years, Wolfpack fans didn't have a whole lot to be excited about, especially playing the Tar Heels. It has been nine years to the day since NC State last won here. One state fan told me, hey, we would just hope to get out of here without being embarrassed. He said the buzz on campus this week has been palpable. Even Tar Heels fans have noticed. One said, we can't deny the rivalry or how much better they're playing. I think tonight we'll see a whole different ball game. The Wolfpack hope so, Mike. They'd like that buzz to continue past yes, tonight. They would like to cut into that 15 out of the last 16. Great officiating crew tonight as usual. Carl Hess, Ray Natilli, and Doug Sermons. And NC State controls the opening tip. Lorenzo Brown, number three in the ACC in assists. Number three, or number two in the ACC in assists. Number three in turnover ratio. So you're going to see two of the top point guards anywhere in the country. Got to show some patience so offensively make more down and have to play on the defensive end. Howell is so physical and so tough inside. Richard Howell averages 11.9. You know, lost a lot of weight, really got in better condition this year. He still pushes a lot of guys around inside. He'll be tested by Henson. And Howell with a reach in. Number one on Howell. Mark Gottfried in his first year at NC State, his 14th overall, won a lot of games at Alabama, now trying to make his mark in Raleigh. He's won 15 of 20. I think the one thing he's done is you look at Roy Williams. He's 21-1 and one against North Carolina State. Five of those happened, those Ws, while at Kansas. Godfrey's brought that spirit, that enthusiasm. He's rejuvenated, very similar to what Steve Lavin did at St. John's. They play hard for him, which is something that you couldn't always say about NC State in the last few years. They play hard every single night. Last time they won, they won under Sidney Lowe his first year. They beat number three in the nation that year in North Carolina. Hanson, very pretty jump hook with the left hand. They got to play with some passion and some pride. It's all about if they have heart. Something they did not demonstrate when they were blown out by Florida State. This program doesn't get embarrassed very often, does it? No, Roy told me upstairs, he said, I agree with everything you said. He said, we had a tough week of practice. Wow. The bank is open for Lorenzo Brown, who's shooting 34% from outside. That may be his first bank of the year. Zeller, jump up. When they get position inside, you just can't stop it. Yeah, Zeller's got great touch around the goal. You know, last year in the tournament, he averaged better than 24 points a game in the four tournament games before they lost to Kentucky. Powell got a good screen, and now he'll try a 20-foot jump shot, not his strength. Zeller on the run. Got it. That's the transition game, right? They really get the ball up the court quickly. They got a guy that has great vision, the feel, instincts, and Marshall. He has to become more than one-dimensional. He's got to guard the basketball and not allow penetration. Heels by one. Bullock is guarding Wood. Bullock getting his first start in place of the injured Dexter Strickland, who's out for the year with a knee injury. Harrison Barnes with a breakaway. That was a phenomenal play to keep his balance, his agility. They're fired up, man. They're playing with a lot more energy than they did yes, they the are. Florida State. Howell to a cutting Williams. Blocked by Henson. One of the premier shot blockers in the country. Crowd really appreciates it, too. All standing up. Henson leads the league with more than three blocks a game. Zeller. Knocked away and stolen by NC State. Zeller looking at Carl Hess to ask, why didn't I get a foul on that follow? Hey, one thing mentioned the fouls, North Carolina leads the nation in least fouls committed. That is a big plus. C.J. Williams, turnaround jump shot. Leslie tries to keep it alive, but instead it goes to Kendall Marshall. Now Barnes. He'll try a three. 
NC State, they'd like to run. Lorenzo Brown, open court, kicks it into the corner, knocked out of bounds. Good defense by Bullock. they got to find some shots for Scott Wood. How good of a shooter, my God, if he told me. He said, Dick, I want to see a better shooter in America. He's only made, Mike, 48 consecutive free throws this year. At 10 from last year, 58 in a row. ACC record. But he needs help most of the time to get his shot. They run him around a lot of screens. But boy, when he gets an open look, he is just deadly. Zeller pulled away from the basket to guard Howell. Leslie, he's very athletic. Lost it. Got it back, tied up by Zeller. Possession arrow to the heel. Leslie's got to be a factor on the inside. He's got to be a big-time show tonight to help neutralize that front court. James Michael McAdoo checks in for the first time. He wears number 43, the freshman out of Norfolk. The rebound came in highly acclaimed, as all these guys do. Yeah. I mean, these guys are all McDonald's. I was going to say, does that separate him from the rest of them? They're not Wendy's, man. They're McDonald's, all Americans. C.J. Williams will pick up a foul. That's his first. Williams has given me some versatility, plays that wing for him. You mentioned Brown before, penetrator, quick. Turns it over a little bit, though. He had six assists the other day and five turnovers in their last game. They'll win. He can be streaky good. He can be streaky bad. Seller left alone. Howell didn't get out on him in time. 10-5 heels. He's got great touch. Leslie in the lane. Too strong. Howell. Leslie got the loose ball. Blocked. He got fouled. And a foul. Leslie very aggressive inside. Hey, take a look right here. You want to talk about some athleticism? Take a look right here, baby. They're running. Run, baby, run. They can get up and down the court. This Saturday, ESPN has a full day of college basketball for you at noon Eastern. St. John's against number six, Duke. Then at two, number five, Kansas goes on the road to face Iowa State. Saturday showcase presented by Five Hour Energy. It's 10-5 here, North Carolina over NC State early first half. Can't wait to go down to Cameron Indoor Stadium. You know, my four favorite places, I'll be honest with you. If I had to pick my final four, someone asked over my years, Cameron Indoor Stadium, obviously, the Cameron Crazies right here because it's like a museum, so much history. Rupp Arena where Kentucky is, and I certainly love the fog, Rock Chalk Jayhawk. I was going to say, Kansas got to be in there, oh, Absolutely. It? This place I love because of the history, man. Unbelievable. <laughs> C.J. Leslie's free throw is no good. He is the poorest free throw shooter of their starters. Take a look at those banners flying high. I mean, if you're going to bring, pull it upset here, you got to make free throws. you got to really get back defensively. You better rebound. You don't do all those things. you got no shot. Uh, you got to do everything. Leslie, one out of two. NC State, the second best free throw shooting team in the ACC at 75%. I think that's helped a lot by Scott Wood. Bullock. He's got the touch from outside. Reggie Bullock, almost 39% from long range. And Howell is rejected by Henson. Terrific block by Henson. Great timing. I really believe when I look at the great shot blockers, he certainly won along with the kick from Kentucky. Group. Oh, they're fired up, man. They're fired up. They are playing at a different level than what I witnessed down at Tallahassee. This shows you, Mike, the importance of playing with intensity and playing with emotion. That was an evil follow by Hanson. Carolina on a 13 to 1 run because of plays like this. I mean, look at them get up on the offensive boards. I mean, they're attacking the glass. That means you're playing aggressive basketball. I'll match, I'll match that front court with any good American. Absolutely. One that might challenge it is the one at Kentucky. North Carolina State has to respond. Oh, it could have been a little lefty right there. I thought it was. That looked like a flop. Could have been a little Brad Pitt right there, baby. A little money ball. A little nomination for an Oscar. 
Look at Oscar time. Look at this here. Oh, now look. A little back. Oh, I don't know about that one. Foul was on Howell, his second. P.J. Hairston checks in for the first time for North Carolina. He can score. He can shoot the three. Bullock baseline. Too strong in the jumper. And that's going to be a foul on McAdoo. Yeah, normally they don't commit those kind of fouls. As I said earlier, they lead the nation the least amount of fouls that they get. And I'm telling you, that is a big-time statistic when you can keep people off that free throw line. NC State needs some kind of spark. Who do you want to see with the ball right now? Well, you know, you try and get some shots for Wood. He's too good a shooter. And they're putting a blanket. You're going to set some screens for him. He cannot create off his own off the bounce. And Strickland would have been the guy guarding him. It's going to be a reach around. If that's on McAdoo, that's three. Wow. So Roy Williams is going to have to get him out of the ball game. And I just freshman, inexperienced, don't know how to play the defensive end. Matter of few minutes, two guys out of the lineup. McDonald on the left, so Strickland on the right. Both done for the year. Another bank shot by Lorenzo Brown. Misses everything. Leslie offensive rebound. Williams baseline. Knocked down by Henson. The basket and the foul. Silly play right there by Henson. Williams with that medium range jump shot. Gets the conversion. If you can get a shot blocker to run at you, you have a chance. You have a chance. But if Henson just stands in there, he's going to block just about everything. You know, you think about North Carolina State, you think about all the history. Certainly our guy, Jimmy V, winning that title in 83. What about every case? Unbelievable what he achieved. It is a storied program that has fallen on the lean times. Steal by Wood. I want to see Wood get free for some shots. He's just standing too stationary. Very Leslie. Easy. Very Foul easy to check. In. Take a look at that tradition right there. I mean, those are incredible numbers, but as you said, Mike, not recently. You got Norm Sloan winning the title in 74. And one of my favorite players ever, college basketball, the Skywalker, David Thompson. A lot of people would contend that he was the best college player ever. Leslie backing in, and Henson is right there. Leslie's going to have to give him more moves than that, or Henson will block them all. He's got to create some space. Jump shot is short by Harrison. Offensive rebound to Marshall. Harrison out of the corner again. Too strong. Here comes Brown. Williams. Williams hits the three, and NC State is back within three points. Williams has half a dozen. Hey, Williams has done a really good job creating space, getting the open shot, getting a little confidence. Nice pass. And Henson with no challenge at all. Oh, what a terrific look by Marshall. Great field, the diagonal pass. All these stars for North Carolina decided they were going to come back this year. You have to wonder how many guys are going to decide to come back next year. See, they're loaded. Absolutely. They got a good recruiting class coming in, too. Don't they always? Yeah. Number four in the nation right now by Paul B. and Cardi and our guys at ESPN. Yeah. Leslie, what? He's frustrated. Yeah, he sure is. He's trying to force it, isn't he? He really is frustrated. Look at that pass diagonal. There's the left hand jam. A great look by Marshall. Stillman White, number 11, checks in the, for the first time. Now, he's going to be the guy that they would like to see get some minutes at the point guard spot to relieve Marshall. You know, Roy told me before the game, so I don't know what to expect, but I'm going to give the young guy a chance. And if he turns it over, he said he's still going to stay get a chance. <laughs> Harrison Barnes picks up his dribble. He said, if I can get three minutes each half, I'll be really happy. White in the lane, kicks it out to Barnes. Too strong on his jumper, body's flying. That one's out of bounds to NC State. You know, White's from out of Wilmington, North Carolina. He's a young kid who's only played like about three, four minutes a game. And games where they've blown people out, played about 15 games. Six feet, 160. And if they can get three minutes a half, that's all they would need. 
They're the one player they can't afford to have an injury happen to. They cannot replace is Marshall. Brown down the lane and throws it away. Alex Johnson is also in for North Carolina State. As we go to break at the 11.53 mark, heels by five. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by T. Rowe Price. Do something different with this year's IRA. And in part by Infinity. Luxury cars that deliver inspired performance. Over on ESPN2 right now, Florida, 13th ranked team in the country, getting destroyed by Ole Miss. Murphy Holloway goes off the window here. That's a legitimate bank shot. 25-12. They are beating Florida on ESPN2. Lead here is five points for North Carolina. The Wolfpack has scored the last six to cut it to five. We have 11.53 to go in the first half. And the guy that scored them all is Williams. In our last game, North Carolina State had a great performance on a pain we off the bench. Howell got in foul trouble. He scored 18. Very valuable to their interior game. I just love what Mark Godfrey's done. You know, when you look at his record down in Alabama, he took them five consecutive years to the NCAA tournament, averaged 20 Ws a year. He played there as a player, did a solid job when he played. He also did a heck of a job at Murray State, who, by the way, right. is the only undefeated team yeah, in America. Yeah, how about that? Nation, nation, baby. Marshall back in at the point. Zeller is also back in. Trying to double Marshall off. wide open. He's gonna, not a shooter. They're going to let him shoot that ball, Mike. Alex Johnson on the run, the lob to Leslie, and he can run the court with anybody in the country. Well, they show we're not intimidated. We can get a transition as well. Nice look like Johnson and Leslie with the jam. Zeller too strong with his pass, trying to hit Desmond Hubert. You know, Leslie's really bought into Mark Godfrey. Better discipline this year. Painter at the baseline, air ball. Hubert with a rebound. Marshall. Marshall dumped it into Zeller. Barnes goes open. baseline, tries a circus shot, and misses. Hubert offensive rebound and a fresh 35. Yeah, Zeller had great position down low, and they missed it. And now Marshall's going to turn it over. Four turnovers for the Heels. There's Wood. Can't get a shot. Has not had a shot yet, Mike. Here's a kid's probably as good as a shooter as there is in America. They got to find a way to get him some looks, or he becomes a liability on the floor. Well, NC State may have gotten lucky on that one. It looked like Leslie fell, but instead the foul call will go on Harrison Barnes because he was right behind him. There's the transition game, a little flip up on top. Great job by Leslie running the court. Johnson with the good look. Boy, the crowd letting the, re uh, the officiating crew have it after that one. Johnson's a kid that graduated from Cal State Bakersfield in his degree. Now working for his masters. Howell being muscled by Zeller. Howell leans in. Zeller with a rebound after the defense. They're going to have to make some perimeter shots to win this game. State. Barnes, offensive foul. Harrison Barnes. He picks up two in less than a minute. You got to be able to pull up and shoot that intermediate jump shot. And he can. He can make that little jump shot. Good defense by Johnson. Rock solid still. Yeah, he was right there. Good defensive transition. Two on Barnes. Three on McAdoo. You know, depth is a factor here. There's no doubt about it. We talked about that in a one-on-one. Johnson, the graduate student out of Toronto. There's Wood with a runner, and he missed first opportunity to put one up. He's the leading three-point shooter in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Hanson against Painter. Isn't that pretty? That is unbelievable. You don't know about that great finesse right there. He's got to work a little bit more on the free throw line. 6'11", he plays about 7'2". <laughs> He's got that wingspan. Painter. Zeller clears. Five boards already for Zeller. On the run, P.J. Hairston. Carolina on their best run, baby, run. Fill the lanes, get the look. I mean, there's no doubt that Marshall's a terrific passer. Mark and Godfrey tries to stop the run. Watch his pass now. He knows where he is on the floor. 
great pass, a little magic style. He got bounce pass, the magic he used to utilize at Michigan State. And then he played with the Lakers. Janine, Mark Gottfried has tried to change things up in Raleigh, and he's doing a good job. Yeah, he is, Mike. And, you know, when you guys put up that graphic a little earlier with the rich history of NC State, that's something Gottfried has embraced. He invited about 65 former NC State players to his home for dinner back in September. Guys like Chris Corciani, Todd Fuller, and Tom Burleson. And he told them, hey, I'm not an NC State guy, but I want to be here for a long time, and you're my family now. And the alum said they really appreciated that gesture. It was something that hadn't happened in a long time. Tell you one thing, Jimmy, you have no problem being there a long time. Just win, baby. Yes, Just sir. win. And you'll stay there as ever, ever. He must have a house as big as yours to have 65 <laughs> over for dinner. I want to know who paid for the dinner. Did <laughs> she stay at the bill? Painter with a head fake. C.J. Williams back in the ball game. Powell down the lane, forced it and missed it. Bullock clears and gets it to Marshall. See Marshall be a young kid's head always up. Marshall with the jumper. And the foul's going to go against Carolina. And now we've got Zeller flying to the floor. Let's see who picks up the person. caught the number. That's big equal to that Howell. That'd be his third, right? That'd be his third? They call it on Howell? I believe they did. Well, they signaled it was going the other way. I believe they called that on Howell. And that would be three. And he's going to the sidelines. There he is going to the bench. It is three on Howell, and that's a big blow for them. He's the second leading rebounder in the ACC. Tell you one thing, though, he went out of the lineup in their last game, got in foul trouble, and Painter was absolutely sensational. He's very valuable off the bench. See, I would not go. I'd play right off of Marshall. Say, prove it to me. Keep shooting the ball. That one's short. Leslie may have gotten a piece of Henson's jumper. They're going to lay some screens, man. Go ahead, Hunt. Get Wood some shots. Too good a shooter just to be drifting on the wing. Leslie has some range, but missed that one. Good block out inside by Hairston. Marshall trying to push. Bad pass. Three on one. You got to make a play here. And it's going to be a foul on Bullock. That's a good foul. They had three on it one. Was. Make him go to the free throw line. This Saturday on ESPNU at 1 Eastern, number four Syracuse goes against Bob Huggins in West Virginia. College basketball action on the Saturday showcase presented by Five Hour Energy. I know my buddy Mike Patrick, a West Virginia guy. Yes, sir. Did you try a little last night? They got blown out by St. John's. St. John's. Thanks for bringing that up. (laughs) I'm going to see them, by the way, St. John's on Saturday with Mr. Musburger. You're looking live. 12 noon down at Cameron Indoor Stadium. And you think you could be a little bit fired up? They got blown out last year by St. John's. Yeah. They only one loss at Madison Square Garden. Those, real shocker, too. Those kids better lace them up and come to play Saturday because they're going to get Duke's best. Leslie hits a couple of free throws to cut it to five at the 8-20 mark. Jeff plays soft on Marshall. Zeller calling for the ball inside, held by Painter. That will be number one on the junior from Norfolk. Tennis Zeller family, all three brothers, great students. Yes, sir. Solid players. Three is an air ball. Uh, careless with the ball. Careless with the ball. Three on one. Brown back defending Zeller with a foul. Zeller hanging around, just the offensive rebound. White Wings doing a little dance on the sideline. Eight points for Zeller. It's 23 16. He's also got eight rebounds. That's a pretty decent first half. I have a double-double at halftime. Johnson, nice head fake to get open for three. Missed Zeller with his ninth board in the first half. You know, he going to get a double-double in the first half? You know, shooting the ball too quickly, though. NC State not making the extra pass. 
Marshall almost with a set shot that time and makes his first bucket of the night. Let him shoot it again if I'm NC State. Let him shoot it again. But right now, you got to make a few passes. Reverse the ball. Bring it side to side. 25-16. Heels by nine. He's got Wood out of the lineup. Game might be too fast for him. Brown, good penetration, blocked from behind by Henson, but the ball goes to Leslie. Now Painter, he has it knocked away. Out of bounds to North Carolina. And one thing, there's a lot of intensity on this floor. Can anybody here play the game? Give it up. Give it up. He can. Mr. Sully can. North Carolina leading North Carolina State 25 to 16. Scott Wood is the leading scorer for NC State. He's also the number one three-point shooter in the ACC, 45.3%. Got one shot. And he's also perfect on the free throw line, 48 for 48 for the year. But you got to move without the ball. Here he is right here. Now watch him on offense. He's just got a place. He got this move. Now he tries right there, getting a little action. But watch him right here. He's just drifting. He's just drifting, standing. Very easy to play. But they don't help him out by laying any screens. There he is right now, very passive. This kid can flat out shoot the ball. I watched him in the pregame. Mike, I don't think he missed. No, he's, got one of, he's got one of the great strokes we've ever seen, even in this league, which has had some unbelievable three-point shooting. Henson again gets inside, jump up with the right hand this time. Zeller kept it alive, but knocked over to Leslie. See, NC State's got to make them play defensively. And the one thing I think that has to happen to beat North Carolina, you have to have some guys step up and make threes because their front court is so tough to attack with Henson and Zeller. Lorenzo Brown will try it too strong. Painter got a hand on it, and then it was knocked out of bounds by Harrison Barnes. You know, it's an amazing stat thus far in the first half. North Carolina has not shot a free throw. Coming into the game, they made 322 free throws. Mm. The teams against them have only attempted 220. NC State has missed its last eight shots. Leslie got bumped by Zeller and still maintained good enough body control to get it up and in. Seven points for Leslie. I think one thing, he's been very active inside. Really playing hard, very active. He brought into the system and marked out three. How about that for an in-your-face three? Harrison Barnes with a little pump fake. Or I'm going to say he had a toe on the line, so it's a two, but a beautiful shot nonetheless. You know, a little jab step for you young kids. Catch the ball, jab at the defense. It helps to create space. Williams against Barnes. Had it partially blocked from behind. Maybe Bullock got a piece of it. You know, Mike, a lot of guys have great ability to shoot the ball, but they can't create space for their shot. You can create space off that jab step. Utilizing the jab, going right at the defensive player. C.J. Williams picks up his second foul. Now watch Harrison right here. Now watch right here. Watch his foot. He's going to jab. See that jab? That jab gives him space. Makes the defense retreat, and he's able to get space to get the shot over the defense. On the next possession, C.J. Williams right in his grill and picks up his second person. You get a kick in this. I was working on jab stuff with my nine-year-old twins the other day. Yeah. Man, I bet they each got 30 on you. <laughs> That's easy. Uh, you got to make that play, Mike. You got to make that play. Painter can't hold it. Eight turnovers for the Wolfpack. They can ill afford it, and Mark Godfrey didn't like it. Great job by Painter running the court wide open, but they didn't find him. Mark Godfrey was quite a leader at the point guard slot when he played on college. Marshall back the other way as we approach the five-minute mark. Barnes, fadeaway jumper, way short. Rebounded by Zeller, but he lost it out of bounds, and Zeller thought he was pushed. Hey, Janine, what did Mark Godfrey say during that timeout? I know you know. Well, you know what, Dick? I mean, he is trying to calm his team down. As you were saying, that turnover, he was not happy about that. He wants his guys to develop some continuity, pass the ball two or three times, not be so trigger-happy on offense, and to create a little more space for themselves as well. I like that, Janine. Trigger-happy. <laughs> Leslie against Henson. Painter tipped it in. Nice play by Painter around the basket. Good first step down inside. Drop step by Leslie. 
27-20. North Carolina State hanging around the neighborhood. Barnes backing in against the double team. Lost it on the way up, but gets a foul. Lorenzo Brown picks up his first. And Harrison Barnes will go to the line. The young man out of Ames, Iowa. Who was the ACC Rookie of the Year last year. And unfairly, I think, given the title of first-team All-American before he ever played a game. And I think that really affected his play. Yeah, early in the year it did. But he showed what he was capable of doing as he got better and better as the season progressed. Last 10, 12 games, he was pretty good, wasn't he? He was absolutely sensational. They went to the Elite Eight, got beat by Kentucky. Lost the heartbreak of the Kentucky this year on a block shot by Anthony Davis, who clearly to me is the best shot blocker I've seen in the last decade. I mean, he's unbelievable. Wood, looking for a screen, doesn't get one. Alex Johnson will try the three. Bricked it. That's pretty good. I mean, that was Brick City, USA. Look at White, in a few minutes. White said, as long as you don't get hurt at the time. Nice pass by White. Seller with a basket and a foul on Painter. And White, and White gets, gets the assist. And he gets a little high five. That meant more than the assist. He wants to get recognition. Look at White right now. Reverse the ball up. He gets the good angle for the dump down. Nice. This is his 16th game of the season. He only averages four minutes a game. He now has 13 assists and only three turnovers. I'll tell you this, guy. Those other minutes that he had, they were not in crucial, no. crucial time. They were You're all right. blowout city. You're right. In those games before, he got his name in the scorebook. Now, he's getting his name in the newspaper. Out of a little defense out of it. Hey, if they're good enough to give you a scholarship, you should be able to help you play. Well, it's a tough mismatch between him and Lorenzo Brown because Brown's about 190 pounds, and White with an anvil in his pocket is only 160. <laughs> 349 to go on the half. The lead is 11. On the UPS Halftime Report, Jay Williams will join me, Carl Ravitch. The top 10 teams in action on Saturday. Saturdays have been dark days for highly ranked teams. We'll preview the action coming up. Also a road test for the Florida Gators, and so far, they're not getting passing grades. Very topsy-turvy year in college hoops. Mike, we'll see you at the half. All right, Carl, thanks very much. In the last nine ball games, Tyler Zeller's been averaging 11 rebounds a game. He has 11 rebounds so far in this half to go with 10 points. That's pretty what good half. half. Yeah, great half. That's Jay Williams kind of half. Carl Ravage is probably all excited about Fielder now going to join Mr. Cabrera. What a duo that's going to be in Detroit. NC State down by 11. Can't hit from the free throw. Brown with a miss. Down 11. you got to convert on a free throw line. Marshall directing traffic. Pretty good spacing right there by North Carolina. Marshall gets by Brown into the lane, kicks it into the corner. Good ball movement by the heels. Now Henson tries to get the ball. That's a big time play. Great execution. Very efficient in a half court game. Bringing the ball from the middle of the floor to the wing, to the post, and right down the gut of the defense. Nine for Barnes. The lead is 13. What Leslie terrific, back to Brown. Terrific offensive efficiency right there by North Carolina. That is absolutely picture perfect the way they executed. Brown's pull up jumper, another air ball. Another brick, Mike. They're not yeah. even close. Not even close. No backspin. No rotation. They got to have a chance to go in. A lot of these have it. 2.54 to go in the half. Terrific execution here, Mike. They do a great job of bringing the ball to the wing, to the post, and right down to the gut and deep. See the gut right here? He's going to come right down that gut. And the ball is going to go right from Henson, right to his buddy Harrison Barnes, and it's Jam City, baby. That's a dunk like you, huh? You were able to do that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you play with Jerry West? No. <laughs> Wish. <laughs> Blocked from behind. Woods got a piece of Hairston. 
Tell the next 245, really big for NC State. They got to come up with a little spurt right here to be able to go to the locker room psychologically feeling good. Right now, if North Carolina goes on a spurt, it's going to be blowout city. Got Scott Wood back in the ball game, then they turn it over. Seller ahead of the. Wow, look at the big fella. And the NBA scouts right there, the scouts' rating goes up a little bit more the way he handled the ball. This Tar Heel front line is just devastating. 13 points for Zeller. There are two The only one I matched with him is Kentucky. Wood with a three. Only his second opportunity, and he missed. Look at the way they're full of the lane. Look at the way they're full of the lane. Up, up, and away, baby. Here we go. North Carolina Tar Heel basketball. Where was this in Tallahassee? They got beat 90 to 57, and it could have been worse. I watched it and still didn't believe it. And Ben Schumann and I were in so shock. 37 to 20. Painter with a jumper. No. Bullock with a rebound. They really have to get, They came out with fire in their eyes. You could feel it. Marshall off balance threw it away. He just looks over to the bench, Roy Williams, going, no, 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 and he's shaking his head. I know, I know. Hey, look at this here, a little pregame. Mr. Strickland said, I can't play, but I can dance. Mr. McDonald as well. They want to be a little dancing with the stars. Two guys with bad knees. Yeah, look at this, dancing with the stars. You know I what? get two good knees, and I can't do that. <laughs> they want a little ear time. They know how to get a little <laughs> ear time, see? They get a little ear time. They went to our producer, Mr. Belton. They said, we're going to do a little dance. Mr. Belton did a little dance because of Knox's type of dandy. Leslie, great spin, but had it blocked anyway. What interior defense. That's too strong. Wood with a rebound. Here comes Brown. Team shoot 38% against North Carolina. Of course, that size inside. Scott Wood, 0 for 3 now. Hasn't really had a good shot yet. The three he's taking were real quick ones just to get a shot on. But you want to see him take him anyhow, don't you? Yes, I do. Off balance by Hubert. Offensive rebound and then thrown away again. North Carolina being a little sloppy, although their ability to run the court and their ability to block shots has them up by 17. And the block shot really helps their transition game. They really done a great job defensively here tonight. Held the Wolfpack, the third leading scoring team in the ACC, at only 20 points. And that's with a three-point shot. That's with the shot clock. Leslie kicks it out. Brown has to double clutch because of the defense. Rebound goes to Bullock. Good job by Marshall to get out on Brown. They're going to look at the monitor, Mike. Well, that might give you a little lift going to the locker room. They're going to look at the monitor, but that baby look good. Boy, that's close. I thought he got it off. Uh, going to have to see this again, I think. Did Let's he see. get it off in time? Yes. Yes, he did. There's out of no, his hands. It's out of his hands, baby. How about that? That'll make it 37 to 23. Janine Edwards with Mark Godfrey. Well, that one counts, so that's got a little be a little sigh of relief there. Now, you told us before the game you want to play your style of game. How effectively have you been able to play your style of game? Not very good. And uh, you know, that's about the only shot we can make is one from about 80 feet. We're, we've lost our poise. We've played against good teams, and we've not done this. We, we've got to get back to having more poise, take a little more time, set better screens. We're not playing nearly the way we've been playing, so uh, that's something we got to correct. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Janine. Our score at halftime, North Carolina 37, NC State 23. Let's join Carl Ravitch in the studio for the UPS Halftime Report. They got three. They could have used 13 on that, but they didn't. It's 37-23, the UPS Halftime Report. Welcome, everyone. Alongside Jay Williams, I'm Carl Ravitch. Give Wood credit. He didn't make a bucket, but he actually got the rim, which you couldn't say about a lot of 
and NC State players. Eight for 33 in the first half. Well, and also for Wood, only three shot attempts. If yeah. anything, you have to watch that tape of Florida State where Devity Stoke is kept running off screen after screen, knocking down shots. I got a chance to speak to Jeff Dunlap, the assistant coach for NC State earlier today, and he said the two keys for this game, limit UNC's transition points. They so have to get back and communicate in on the defensive end, and they really haven't done that. Secondly, you have to limit their offensive rebounds. UNC averages 16 offensive rebounds per game already with seven in the first half. And Lorenzo Brown, whether a shot is made or missed, if he's guarding Kendall Marshall, he has to automatically be in his face and try to limit vision. When Kendall Marshall is able to catch the ball, whether it's a made or a miss, and just have clear vision to see up the floor, that's where UNC kills you. This is a little different. It felt like a little different. You even said, where's this team been? Or I like when this team plays this they're, way. They're one of the top teams in the country when they play with passion. When they bounce on the offensive glass like that, when Harrison Barnes is banging on his chest and they're getting after yeah. it on the defensive end, they're one of the best teams in the country. Feeling no doubt about, about it. They themselves. 22% shot NC State. That's why they're down 14, including that uh, full-court shot at the buzzer. What to watch for? ESPNU later tonight, 9 Eastern time. Virginia will take on Boston College. Virginia looking to equal their win total in 2011 from last year if they can get a victory. And again, you look at the tops of the conferences, very solid. The middle, the ACC, the Big East, the SEC, all bunched up. So football news, this one surprised a lot of people, including many at Rutgers. Greg Schiano was supposed to be at a local high school talking to four- and five-star recruits. The assistants were there. He was, in fact, agreeing to become the head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Said that he was concerned about the future of the Big East as well, and I think a lot of people share that sentiment. He was very good there. He built them up. He had a lot of recruits coming in. They were a defensive team, which is exactly why in Tampa Bay they are excited about what Greg Schiano can bring. Much more on SportsCenter, which of course follows the X Games here. We'll take a look at Saturday's games. It has been a day Saturday of upsets. Will it continue? SPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by the Nokia Lumia 710, only at T-Mobile. Welcome back to the ACC on ESPN. It's the Thursday Night Showcase presented by T. Rowe Price. At the half, it's 37 to 23. It's a 14 point lead, and except for an 80 foot shot, would have been worse than that. What were your impressions the first half? Well, my impression very simply. I think that Mark Garfield said it really well to Janine. They're shooting the ball too quickly. They've shot horribly. Eight for 32. 25 percent is not going to get you in a win column. And then you look here. We talked in the one-on-one -on -one about depth. They're not a very deep team. Richard Howe gets his third foul. That really sets them back because he's a solid rebounder. Probably one of the top three rebounders in the ACC. NC State will inbound to start the second half. Would certainly help the Wolfpack cause if they can get Scott Wood open for a couple of shots. They really challenging him. They're going to make him have to put the ball on the floor, something he is not comfortable doing. Wood around the screen against Bullock, and there it is. He can flat out shoot it. Got a great release. Follow through, good arc. He's as good a shooter as they say in America. Never mind just the ACC. Fadeaway jump shot, Harrison Barnes, painter with the rebound. Mandatory that they get a good spurt right here at NC State to have any chance at all. And not starting Howell in the second half, as Dick mentioned, he's been handicapped by those three persons. Tough to get anything inside against North Carolina. Henson is such a great shot blocker. There's Wood, forced that one. Good defense by Bullock, was right there with him. That's why Wood becomes a valuable player to them. He has to make that perimeter shot. You're right, Mike. Tough to get the ball inside. Bad pass, good defense by Leslie. He anticipated. One on three by Leslie, had it knocked out of his hand, and it goes to the heels. My God, he's screaming, get back, get back, get back. Bullock will try a three. He's got the range. See, Bullock can give him that three. He's a much better, polished, offensive player than Strickland. Strickland's a little bit more versatile, more multi-dimensional. Defend you, play a little point. Well, Strickland was a lockdown defender. They're certainly going to miss him the rest of the year. 
Barnes back the other way, gives it up to Marshall, who had five assists and three turnovers in the first half. Hanson kept that alive and got the freebie. That's that length, long, long arms, very active, keeps the ball around, and he gets himself a little layup. Hanson with eight. And North Carolina State just has no answer for the length and the leaping ability inside of North Carolina. Woods finally got untracked, but can he keep it up? Welcome back to Chapel Hill. Let's check in with Janine Edwards. Well, Mike, two games ago when the Tar Heels were trounced by Florida State, Roy Williams told me they showed zero effort. And he said after the game, they were embarrassed, humiliated, and in fear for their lives. His words. He said he was so irate, he didn't speak to them for 48 hours. Huh. Well, he just told me now, I'm going to have to use that silent treatment a little more often because the effort and the intensity they're showing tonight has him pleased. Absolutely. Janine, that's absolutely correct. Sat on courtside for that. I could not believe what I was witnessing. I mean, you wear that Carolina uniform. You're representing a lot of great, great players, not only yourself. A lot yeah, of he, tried, he tried everything, Dick, and nothing worked. Harrison Barnes with a runner. Leslie with a rebound. This kid loves to go with the basketball. Try to pull up 15-footer and got the bounce. I'll tell you one thing, he's playing with a lot of effort tonight, Leslie. He really has bought into the Mark Godfrey philosophy. Bullock for three, but he didn't get out on defense. Hey, one thing, Bullock right now is going to give him that legitimate threat on a regular basis from the perimeter, and that's going to open it up inside for Zeller and Henson. 45-28, starting to get away from the Wolfpack a little bit. Leslie got caught up in the air, threw it away, and taken down by Henson. I mean, we're seeing why this club was rated so high preseason. North Carolina. Tonight you're witnessing really a solid performance. Rebound and better than two to one ratio on the glass. Well, when they play like this, they're as good as anybody, aren't they? Absolutely. Oh, they're still going to be a major, major player and factor come tournament time. Good pass to Zeller. Lost it, got it back, and put it in. He is just so steady. Marshall again with the great look right over the defense. Utilizing the diagonal look. Biggest lead of the ball game. Powell trying to penetrate. Has to kick it back out. Sullivan having a big night. Leslie down the lane. Forced it up because Henson has blocked so many of his shots. Leslie's trying to beat North Carolina by himself. Oh, what a great drive by Marshall. Protected the ball really well. Left hand the player. I'll tell you what. Zeller may go for a Dwight Howard night with 20 rebounds. I mean, Mike, he's got about 15 off the glass. The lead is 21. John Madrid, one of the best in the business, just patted his head right. 15. Brown. What nice dish. Good execution right there by North Carolina State. I think they were really challenged. I think North Carolina was challenged before the game by their coaching staff. You know, we're tired of reading about that they're coming here with a buzz. They're coming here. They're catching us. And I think they came out and played here with a purpose. Well, they've certainly shown it here. Brown down the lane, pull-up jumper, tried to bank it. May have been tipped from behind. Heels trying oh, to run free. Great pass. Terrific pass. The left of the court. Great feel. I mean, he had in his mind that he was going to make that pass prior to even releasing it. Marshall instinct. now with nine assists. He's second in the nation, averaging nine and a half. Only four guys ever averaged ten assists a game or more. Isn't that amazing? And Avery Johnson did it twice. Good feed to Howell. 51-32. NC State's going to need a couple of stops. And a couple of threes at the other end to have any hope of getting back in this game. Well, they're also need to make a call out to David Thompson, Corciani, <laughs> Monroe. Get a little help. Yeah, that might help. <laughs> Fire and ice. <laughs> they were pretty good in the backcourt. Henson against Leslie. And that's a good call by Carl Hess. Caught him on the arm. Might be a good foul, too, because that's the one area. That's an Achilles heel, Joel, is the free throw line. Hey, Rasheed Wallace in the house. He's wearing a Phillies hat. Mr. Pafflebond's going there. Oh, look at this pass. The catch, the deuce.
It's a full day of college basketball on Saturday on ESPN, starting with St. John's taking on number six Duke at noon, then at two, number five Kansas on the road to visit Iowa State. The Saturday showcase presented by Five Hour Energy. Here's Henson at the free throw line. It's been a disaster for him this year, 44%. That's why it was a good foul. Put him on the line. Can't wait to get overseas. St. John's got a great freshman on Animal Harkless Saturday afternoon. Look at these numbers right here. 15-15. I mean, he may get 20 rebounds. Tipped outside. Recovered by Marshall. Good job by P.J. Harrison, who got a fingertip on it. You know, Harrison gives him great size on the perimeter. This is Justin Watts making his first appearance. As Roy Williams, as is his want to do, goes deep into his bench. Well, you're plus 19, Mike. You can do that. Yes, you, you can. You start playing some people. Marshall. Nice fake. Oh, oh what a pass. Holy cow, what a pass to Hairston. And an assist for Marshall. That's a Magic Johnson-style pass. Uh, he just has such great vision. He may turn out to be the best, best point guard this school has ever produced, and that is saying a whole lot. He's going to have to do a better job in other areas, though, Mike. I agree with you passing the ball, but before we put him up there with the Phil Fords and the people like Lawson and Felton, he's got to defend and he's got to make shots. That'll help. Like that? That'll help. He said, that'll help. He's got seven points, but you're right, Dick. He is not much of a scoring threat, but then you can live with that in the point guard if he just gets a few and hits those open shots, so you got to respect him. And he's got to defend. He's got to do a better job of defending people. But he's a magic flair to pass, and there it is right here. Good pump fake, ball fake, and there's the dump down. Always thinking about finding the open man. Very unselfish. It's eighth game with Tennessee some more. Just spectacular. You know, he's got a lot of Lenny Wilkins. We've said that often. In fact, Jimmy Laranego told me the first time he saw him as a sixth grader. He saw him play, and he says, you know what? I thought I was watching Lenny Wilkins. People had said, Lenny Wilkins, who? Let me tell you, he was something else, Lenny. Yes, he Providence. was. Marshall who is fourth in the country and assist to turnover ratio gives way to Stillman White. Fight for the ball, knocked out of bounds by the heels. See, I'm trying to age myself, man, talking to Lenny Wilkins. You know, you know, that's way before your time. Thank you very much. <laughs> this man right now, this kid White, going to get some playing time, get a little confidence. Played one minute in two stints in the first half, had one assist. Not bad per minute. And didn't hurt the club when he was on the floor. No, did not at all. Shooting the ball has been a nightmare here today. Leslie, too strong. The rebound goes to Desmond Hubert, a freshman from Cream Ridge, New Jersey. He's got four boards. White tries to get it in. It's kicked. So it will be inbounded with 28 on the shot clock. You know, last time that Mark Godfrey was in this building, last time he was here. 1988, 104-88, they were blown out. He was an assistant at UCLA. That's his last time here. He may not want to come back here. <laughs> I don't know anybody that enjoys the visit, do you? <laughs> yeah, we do. We enjoy it. Well, it's out of us. <laughs> we don't get a loss. <laughs> Zeller kicks it out white. The crowd watches it. He made it. Stillman White, who was averaging nine tenths of a point per ball game, makes his second three of his career. He's looking over and said, Coach, why don't I get more PT? Why don't I get more playing time, Coach? I can play, Coach. You didn't give me a chance. It's, uh, what are you going to Rudy in the house? Didn't hesitate at all and drained it. So he's got an assist in the three. There's an air ball. That'll from Richard Howell. That'll guarantee him a little more playing time. Zeller. He can't be stopped. It's an Eminem on the inside. It's a total mismatch, my friend. 17 points, 15 boards, and North Carolina is just destroying NC State. Michael, there is no rivalry yet. There is no rivalry yet. 
Oh, look at this little guy. He's going to tell everybody when he gets older about making the big three. And the fans love it. He'll be big man on campus tomorrow, man. Forget he, about selling. He'll he's got to be man. thinking to himself, leave me open, will you? <laughs> But before you talk about rivalry, you got to win some games. Yeah. you got to play competitive basketball. And tonight it is blowout city. Mike, you and I felt it in the first three, four minutes watching the effort and energy of North Carolina. I think if the truth be known, Dick, NC State would have been happy to be really competitive tonight, even walking out of here with a loss. But this is not going to make anybody happy. No, not going to make anybody happy. I know it's not making one NC State Fan happy and serious. You look here at the scoring attack, really struggling. Look at this. Five guys in double figures. And the best they can do tonight is Leslie with nine, and Leslie's put up a lot of shots to get those nine points. Well, NC State guy came and said a logo at halftime. Mr. McCreary, who is he? Well, his son Scotty won American Idol. And he said that? his son may go to NC State. He's in Boise right now performing. Scotty was terrific on American Idol. I think you ought to be on dancing with this. No, 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 no. <laughs> I got two left feet, man. I got well, two that hasn't stopped feet. a lot of I, other people. I know. Uh, I mean, some people on that show had three left feet. <laughs> uh, no, you're right. <laughs> Forget it. Leave that to Erin Andrews. She was oh, terrific. Yeah. Yes, she was. Plus, she was a lot better to look at than me. Oh, you think? <laughs> Heels have played with real intensity tonight. They really defensively, offensively. Boy, Leslie doesn't want to give it up, does he? And Hanson blocks his shot. He's one of my old SWAT squad. Guys like Anthony Davis. Oh, now he's getting confident. Uh-oh, air ball. Uh, look, he looks at the bench. Uh, he's he looks... got a smile on his face. I don't know if you're supposed to smile after you clank one off the board. Roy is smiling. Studio update here. Ole Miss in Florida. Scotty Wilbekin will line up and drain it. Florida has fought all the way back in this game. Tied it up at 46. You can see it now on ESPN2. Nebraska and Iowa on ESPNU. Another close game there. 56 to 54. All right, so Tyler Zeller's got 17 and 15 tonight. Cody Zeller, you see what he's averaged the last seven games. He's a 15 and 6 guy. It's a Zeller Zeller night on the networks. I'll tell you what, Cody has some talent, doesn't he, Carl? Zeller knocks this one down. Tyler Zeller averaging 14 points a game has 18 in this one. I'll tell you one thing, his brother's done a phenomenal job, as Carl just said, down with Indiana and both. Great students. I'm not talking about average. I'm talking like valedictorians, second in the class. 63 to 32. Wood, nice dish inside in the basket for Richard Howell, and he draws the foul. Nice look to the interior. You got to play for a little respect right now. You play the game in segments. You play five minute spurts. You try to play five minutes of basketball. See if you can win each five minutes. You know, as a coach, I know you tell your kids that. But when you're down 63 to 34 and you tell them we're going to play in five minute segments, they got to look at you like, oh, come on, get serious. Well, you know, you got to try to make the game a little competitive for them. So let's win the next five minutes. Henson lost it. Bodies fly. Brown gives it up to Wood long. Three and he makes the net. Scott Wood. Did he call that? Did he call that? I guess shooters he get that. He probably did. Shooters get that kind of shot. Bank is open, as Timmy Brando would say. Well, I tell you, they have made some of the hardest shots you'll ever see tonight. They just haven't made enough of them. Yeah, you take away some of the miraculous shots. Shot at halftime. Here's Wood with a drilling one off the glass. Shot that from Durham. You got to like Lorenzo Brown, though. He turns around, he sees him 25 feet from the basket. He's going to give him the ball anyhow and expect him to shoot. You know, you look right now at the ACC, and certainly Virginia and Michael Scott, they got a tough break when they lost to Kid Sen. Then they got beat their last game by Virginia Tech by two, but they shot one for 13 from the three. 
But you notice, on the bottom, really some clubs struggling. When you look at Wake yes, Forest, Georgia are. Tech. Some teams that are not very good. Zeller with a miss, but he'll go to the free throw line. Foul is going to be on Painter. That's his third. Well, let's take a look at our state of success brought to you by State Farm coming up on Saturday night at 7 o'clock on ESPN. Washington, Arizona. Washington can certainly score. They're second in the Pac-12 in scoring, and Arizona can certainly shoot the three. Seven and a half made three for ball game. You know, the Pac-12 certainly down cycle. It runs though in cycles. Right now, certainly the Pac-12 is not vintage. Not like they've been in the past, but Arizona's going to have a great recruiting class. So is UCLA. Doesn't the thing that concern you about that, though, is this cycle has lasted quite a while? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Brown not looking for a shot. Gets it to Wood. And he'll go inside the painter. Good head fake, but he's triple team. Kicks it back out. North Carolina doing a good job defensively in half-court defense. Challenge oh, that's shooters. a big screen, and Brown knocks down the three. 65-40. You know, in the ACC, you look at the unbelievable change of coaches. I mean, the turnovers were unbelievable. And that affects certainly, you know, any kind of stability in your program. Take a look right here. Look at the unbelievable scenario. You got right up there on top, four guys with one year. You got three guys with two second year and one guy in his third year. Unbelievable. I mean, that's quite a turnover. Taking life today in the coaching. I was on Mike and Mike's show. We talked about it. I mean, today with the scrutiny, Mike, with the social media, with the radio talk shows, tough to survive. Barnes got it. And you have to do it in a hurry. You're not going to get five years to implement your program at most places. Everyone wants instant gratification. Yes, sir. They show the versatility of Barnes right there, posted on the inside. Rated very high by all the so-called experts for the NBA. Dick, when you talk about the tenure of coaches, you look at Duke, North Carolina, and Florida State. Outside of that, it's back to three years. That's Absolutely. it. Yeah. Everybody, you said, like you said, Mike, everybody's about today, today, today. Zeller pushed out of the way by Painter, takes the shot, can't hit it. Rebound and a foul, and if that's on Howell, he's gone. And it is on Howell. Five on the junior from Atlanta. He got in foul trouble in the first half, and that really hurt them. Because he is a man. Take a look right here. Look at the rankings. Well, NC State will go to four and two. They join Virginia with two losses, leaving Duke, Florida State, North Carolina tied at the top. And keep in mind, Florida State has beaten both of those teams already. You know, Florida State, very physical team. Leonard Hamilton has them right now. I, they showed a lot of character when they got blown out by Clemson, then went on a road as another brick by Henson, went on a road and beat Virginia Tech, and then came back, beat Duke, beat Maryland, and beat, beat Carolina. This is an epidemic with big guys in college basketball. I can't shoot free throws. Yeah. I've never seen so many prominent players under 50%. I would think it's embarrassing. It really is embarrassing. I don't think guys work on it enough. Really concentrate, focus. They may come out and shoot quantity. There's a big difference in quantity and quality. Wood trying to get a screen held by Bullock. That'll be two on Reggie Bullock. See, I think one of the best ways to improve free throw shooting, give guys X number in a row they have to make before the practice ends. If they don't, they'll start running some of the stairs. Might, might be here all night. Well, they'll run some of the stairs. They'll start concentrating. But you see a guy shoot 25, shoot 50. They go to the line, fire them up. There's no meeting. 68 to 40. It has been all Tar Heels. Really showing their stuff tonight. You know, I see Jay Williams foul on the way in. For people in the ACC, some good news. They have six classes in the top 25 in the ESPN used poll for the recruiting for 2012. Virginia, Wake Forest, Georgia Tech, and Maryland are in there, along with North Carolina State, which is sixth in the nation, and North Carolina fourth. 
good head fake by Brown and an even better pass and Painter gets the layup. Painter got the layup, but it was created off the good jab step, head fake, combination of both by Brown. If you're North Carolina, tough to keep your intensity up at this point. I mean, you're coasting up by 26. So one thing, you showed some intensity. Great baseline drive, reverse layup. Harrison Barnes out of Iowa. We got a kid coming in next year here from Iowa as well. Marcus Page coming out there. Point guard. Wood. Nice move without the ball by Wood. Get a motion. When you have motion, you move without the ball. A lot of good things happen. You stand, you're the easiest guy to go. They weren't getting that kind of penetration earlier in the ball game. Now Henson backing in on Leslie. Good skip pass. Hairston. He's stripped by Brown. Two on one, gonna make the play. Williams. Get you on one break. Good execution by Lorenzo Brown. You know, I agree with Mark Gottfried on one area. There's no doubt this team's a lot better than we saw here tonight. Absolutely. No doubt. Well, they get a chance to regroup. They play Virginia at home on Saturday. That'll be not easy. Tony Bennett's club utilizes their strengths to the best. And Michael Scott is a big-time player. But that Barnes. is a super player. That is not a big-time player. That is a super scintillating, sensational player. He's the 3S man, like Jay Williams was. I wonder if Crow Ravage was a 3S man. I'm sure he was. Wood running the baseline and couldn't find him. Six minutes, 17 seconds to go. North Carolina on its way to its 17th win in 25. Get it back to Barnes. Oh, I should have hooked pass right back to Barnes for a jam. Good defense by Wood. Four on three, Wood for three, and knocks it down. If he can catch the ball and square his body, put it in the ball. Yeah, he's just as, as good as anybody's ever been as far as a standstill jump shooter. He's up to 11 points, double figures. Henson, too strong, and Zeller got a fingertip on him, knocked it out of bounds. 539. Left to go. There's a timeout. It's a 23-point ball game. Super Cinderella's decision. No, he's the 4S man. Spectacular, too. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by T. Rowe Price. Do something different with this year's IRA. Nice studio update. We've been following the Florida Gators and Ole Miss. Florida now up by two. Kenny Boynton's going to square up. He's going to splash down a three. Good double screen high. 59-54. That one on ESPN2. That's not how Jay Will used to do it. This is what Jay Will used to do, though. Yes. Snowmobile freestyle. All part of our X Games coverage. It starts at 9 on ESPN. Let's take a look at tonight's moment of the game. It's brought to you by Disney Parks. And it's one of the high risers, Harrison Barnes. A little Disney moment right there in the gut of the defense. Wow, Jam City, there it is. Moment of the game. And I just had a Disney moment. I had a do for a Disney animated series. I played in a series called Kick Butowski. You ever hear Kick? No. Oh, come on, it's a great combo. My grandkids love it. Kick Butowski. <laughs> I played a Viking mayor. <laughs> you played a Viking mayor. Very popular show. One of Disney's real great animated series. He's been really honored to be asked to be part of it. Yeah. Alyssa Milano's well, in it. That'd be Swedish, but Dwight Howard. You get the you get the idea. <laughs> we have to be impressed with what North Carolina has done tonight. I just put a tweet up. As you four four said, I just put a tweet up. I said UNC tonight. Awesome baby, blowout city. Mike, they've been sensational right from the get-go. Yes, they the have. We Played with great emotion, Dick. They did. And that was the something that was lacking against Florida State. Getting beat is one thing. I mean, getting beat, I mean, it would shock me losing to Florida State. But getting beat by 33 with that talent. Bullock just picked up his third. 
Florida State is a very intimidating team to play. They are so physical and so strong and in your face defensively. And then when they're making shots like Duke oh. in that game goes eight for ten from the trifecta. He had a magnificent game. Good catch by Alex Johnson. Florida State, by the way, over the last five years, right behind North Carolina and Duke in terms of wins. But that's what Leonard Hamilton wasn't satisfied with, right behind. He's trying to get ahead, and he's on the verge of doing it. Shot clock down to four. Off the and block. banked in. Are you kidding? I mean, that's the third they banked in tonight. <laughs> Thomas Detay from Belgium. Well, they've hit some circus shots. You couldn't play horse against these guys tonight. Now but you can play five on five. Who's yeah, that's tonight? right. That's exactly right. Oh, good ball. Good ball movement. The Harrison first in and out. Good offensive rebound by Hubert in a fresh 35. You know, Hubert's given him a nice lift in his minutes that he's playing. He has. The he, five boards. Marshall gets such a thrill passing the basketball. Total command, total control. It's been all North Carolina from the layup drill to right now. Beautiful crossover by Marshall. Shame that one didn't go in. That would have brought the house down. He's been really working on his shot. He really has worked very hard to try and improve his range. Wood. Catch and face the goal. Get triple for a position. Johnson, no look pass to Leslie. Knocked away. 250 left to go in the game. All the hard ones have gone in for North Carolina State. Lorenzo Brown has banked in a couple of threes, including an 80-footer. The bank was open for Wood and really open for Detay. Carl Ravitch in our college basketball studios. Comeback is now nearly fully complete. Patrick Young has got 15. They've outscored him by 15. 61-56 now with under a minute to play on ESPN2. Bill Snowmobile Freestyle comes up tonight. That's next on ESPN. Of course, more college basketball on ESPN2. 235 to go here and it's 74-55. As Brown hits the three. McAdoo too strong on the jumper. Knocked out of bounds off the bullock. You know, Mike, I look at my five best shot blockers. If I had to pick my wall sweat squad, you look at West Virginia playing Syracuse. And Dick, that's on one o'clock on ESPNU Saturday. Uh, Syracuse against the Mountaineers. You know, Syracuse, the question is, what about the status of Fab Mello and Kevin Jones having a great year for the Mountaineers? But here are my five best shot blockers. Henson, Anthony Davis to me is the best. C.J. Aiken, terrific at St. Joe's. Jeff Whitney's really been blocking shots with the Jayhawks. And Georgie Dang down there at Louisville. That's my all sweat squad. All Say thou that three times fast. All thou shalt not into thy lane. <laughs> Detay with a rebound. The youngster out of Belgium gives it up to Johnson. Getting a little time, a little time, trying to increase their rotation. Kid coming in next year for them is going to be sensational. Rodney Purvis, people rave about him. This Supposed to be player. one of the big time recruits in the country. Yeah, he really is. Mark Godfrey brings a lot of spirit. He has really rejuvenated the program. There's an excitement about it now. They're going to tuck this one away. You know, you got to admire him for taking the challenge. I mean, you're eight miles away from North Carolina. You're eight miles away from Duke, and you come in and say, I can do this. Detay with a block. Thought he got all ball, but apparently got him with the body. Tell you one thing, the job doesn't pay too badly to Mike. It doesn't pay too badly. Check in with Janine. 
Well, guys, as you know, Dexter Strickland missed this game tonight because he tore the ACL in his right knee. Now, check this out. I spoke to him at halftime, and he told me he's been icing the knee and stretching it, but the doctors told him, most importantly, make sure you walk normally. Walk normally? <laughs> he's dancing! <laughs> Have you seen that video? Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway. Well, maybe, maybe they also said dance normally. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what it was. But anyway, he said they're going to calm the knee down and he'll have surgery in two or three weeks. But guys, I don't think they have to worry about him walking normally. Yeah, probably not. So he played at a great high school program, St. Patrick's Elizabeth. Played in high school along with Michael Kidd Gilchrist, one of the real warriors in America. I've said it once and I'll say it again. When you talk about a tandem as freshmen, what a tandem. Kid Gilchrist and Anthony Davis, they're one of the five best I've seen in the last decade. Oh, that's pretty good. But Carmelo Anthony and McNamara were good. Durant and Augustine were terrific. Odin and Clowney were great. Now, if you want to put them in that category, that's pretty good. They are good. Mm -hmm. Knocked away and stolen by Jackson Simmons, who's getting some playing time. And also Patrick... Crowell getting into the lineup for North Carolina. North Carolina will win the 30th in a row at home. One of the longest winning streaks in the country. Tomorrow night, the NBA on ESPN. The Knicks against the Heat. Our coverage starts at 7.30 Eastern with the Kia NBA Countdown. NBA Friday on ESPN. Hey, can't you use your influence? You know a lot of guys. I want to do a Heat game. I want to do a Heat game. I really do. Hey, as far as I'm concerned, you're on it. <laughs> Hey, Kentucky's got the longest win streak, 48 in a row. Ohio State, 37 in a row. And now North Carolina hits 30. And remember, Duke goes at home Saturday. First time back at home, trying to start a new win streak. They had 45 in a row that came to an end. You did that game, right? Yeah. Against Florida State. Florida State was terrific. Brown kicks it out to Detay. Hey. And Williams on the follow is fouled. You know, you look at Williams and Brown, and you can see why they're going to have a good year. They're very athletic. they got good speed, quickness. They're well coached. What a staff he was on at UCLA. They had Steve Lavin. They had Mr. Gunn. Scott Freed. And then they had Lorenzo Romar and Jimmy Heron. <laughs> they won the national title in 1995. Some talented people there. Kept Arkansas from going back to back. Arkansas won it in 94. Nolan Richardson had a chance to win it again in 95. Look at Zella. He's smiling. Great day. I wonder if he gets on the phone and calls his brother. So, Cody, what did you put up tonight? Oh. 74-55. Hope to pick Weiss, who's Weiss at halftime. And you know, he said, whenever you're going to rebound like this and play defensively like this, the Hoops does his basketball. That's North Carolina. That's it from Chapel Hill. The final score, 74-55, North Carolina over North Carolina State. Up next, the Winter X, live from Buttermilk Mountain in Aspen, Colorado. For Dick Vitale and Janine Edwards, this is Mike Patrick. Thanks for watching. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.